Hello, and welcome to Stage, Screen, and In Between. I'm Helen, and we're at the premiere for a trailer for Good Friday Mob Comedy, and I have with me a very wonderful filmmaker, Yvonne Maria Schiffer. Yes, and she is from Germany, but she also is, she's an actress and a producer, and she does work in Europe, and in the United States, so she's an international filmmaker. I traveled a lot, and so um, currently I'm involved in various projects. And so um, just two weeks ago, I was shooting a film in uh, Texas. It was uh, titled Pizza Joint, and I had a very funny role in it. And um, it is Noel Guglielmi's um, first feature film. And uh, he was acting in uh, Breaking Bad and uh, also in Training Day. So, yeah. So, it was very exciting to uh, work with them. And also, I'm producing right now a film in uh, Bangladesh. It's called uh, Rickshaw Girl. And it's about a 14-year-old girl who tries to support her family and steals a rickshaw from her father and crashes it. And so, the family has to starve because it's the only way they they can yes. earn money yes. yeah and so it has a beautiful ending and it was named as one of the 100 best books in the past 100 years from the new york um, library where the film is based on so then i'm producing in germany russia and belgium a second world war film with uh, a brilliant cast and um very exciting um, to do that. I just can't talk about it now, but if you look it up very soon, uh, we can talk about it, and we start filming in February. Oh, okay, now, uh, what makes you decide on what, what it is that you're going to do next? What piques your interest? So, wha what it is, basically, um, all these projects came to me, and um, I really have to like the projects, and I like a lot of projects uh, with human rights, and so I did in the past documentaries, for example, a film called The Cuban Hurt. It's about a Cuban artist who um, found a way to fight against the regime through art and um, reunited an entire neighborhood and educated them in art. So this was very interesting for me because um, it shows people in various countries and their needs. And by feature films, it just has to be entertaining. It has to be a good film. So the Second World War film is based on true events. That's why I like it a lot. And it shows the Second World War from a very different perspective as it wasn't seen now. And this is what drew me to this film. But in the past also I produced a film with Eric Roberts, Peter Green and a bunch of very great um, German actors. Uh, it was called uh, the title The Child and based on a best-selling novel and it was released theatrically in Europe and will come now to the USA. So it will be available here soon too. Oh, cool. Yeah. You're so busy. Now how, how do you keep track of everything? Y you're flying uh, to Europe, you're coming back. How do you keep track of it all? Sometimes I go crazy. So I just <laughs> go next week back to Germany for 10 days and uh, as I said, I just come from Texas. <laughs> so, but since I'm 15, I'm traveling. That's what I do. So I lived in Asia, I lived in Africa. And so now I'm here since eight years and I'm very happy in New York. And I love the people because um, it's a great energy in, in, in the USA. And I love the spirit here. And it's just great to work here. Now I, I, I know you're so busy, but the name of the show is Stage, Screen, and In Between. So what do you like to do in between? Do you paint? Do you dance? What is what uh, hobby do you have? You. My hobby is I did extreme sports my entire life, like really? skydiving, snowboard, snowboarding, uh, border cross, everything what you um, can possibly do. And this is what I do on my travels. So the second I see a mountain, I'm on top top of it. Oh. And yeah, so I broke a lot of bones, and um, that was one of the reasons coming to New York because after I broke my nose for the second time, and uh, the doctor said so now quiet, go somewhere where nothing happens, and so I thought, okay, that's New York. <laughs> <laughs> nothing <laughs> happens in New York. Well, that's a first for me. <laughs> yeah, but at least not <laughs> that you can do something to yourself. Yeah, yeah. The, the mountains are quite a drive to get yeah, to the mountains right. from the city, but uh, is there a website where somebody can find out more about you or see your films, maybe? Yes, um, I have a Facebook page. It's uh, Yvonne Maria Schäfer, and then um, for the films, there is my company site, which is YMC Entertainment on Facebook and also um, as a, a homepage, Yvonne Maria Schäfer and YMC Entertainment. Thank you so much, Yvonne. <laughs> Thank you. How lucky am I right now to have the very talented Michael D'Amico, who entertained for us tonight at Good Friday Mob Comedy trailer 
premiere. Yes. You were sensational. It was a great trailer. I enjoyed the uh, what I saw tonight. I think it's going to be a very funny movie. And Sal Vanilla is a very talented, and uh, I'm very proud of him and everybody that was involved with it. It was a, a very. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it now. Yeah, so. I know. I know. And I had, it's going to be exciting. Warming too. It was good to get up there. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the song that you sang because he sang a terrific song. It was very disco-y. You wanted to get up and dance, and it had to do with the fashion industry, right? Yes, it does. Well, actually, I, I wrote this song. Uh, for a friend of mine her name is Yana Benhuri and she owns a fashion house and um, I was talking with her husband actually who I wrote another song for for a movie that he did but anyway um, I did uh, a band version of uh, fashion house fashion world uh, it came out great I'm very happy with it and then uh, I have a friend of mine who I knew a few years back and he became uh, one of the premier remixes of the old music like Donna Summers and Aww. Madonna and stuff. So he started remixing everything. And I brought him and I said, you know what? I'm in the fashion industry here with this song. I'm trying to hit the fashion industry. I've got my band version. But, you know, fashion is in Milan, in New York, in Paris. And there were discos there, too. Yeah. So I hooked up with my friend Dave Sarenson and uh, put a production together, a house version of the same mm -hmm. song. So uh, I, I think I have my bases covered now. I got the discos covered. I think I have the radio <laughs> covered. And uh, the reaction tonight is um, I'm very happy, you know, to get to see people. That, you know, they don't know a song. They're hearing it for the first time. But it moves you. I'm on the right track. So how did it come to be that you write music? Well, I've been writing music uh, all my life. My, my father was in the music business. My aunt was a music teacher. In fact, my music goes back as far as uh, Enrico Caruso is my great uncle. Wow. The, the opera singer so uh, yeah and uh, in fact when i did the movie uh with uh, paul savino price for freedom he was uh, he just had finished doing a shoot and he went to sit in the back and he i heard him sing an opera he was amazing yeah. and then i walked up to him and i go mr savino you sound really really good almost as good as my great uncle and he looked at me <laughs> and he goes now who's your great uncle and i said enrico caruso and he goes, no. And he pulls out his iPod, and he's got all the Enrico Caruso songs oh in there. Goodness. Then he takes a picture of Enrico Caruso, and he goes, you know, you two guys have the same nose. I go, forget <laughs> about it. So anyway, we, we kind of like bonded a little bit with, oh, the, with yeah. the opera, but he's an amazing, amazing actor. And uh, actually, they're looking forward for Price for Freedom to come out. Yeah. Uh, Fashion House, Fashion World was written for Yana ben Hori, but I wrote, Price for Freedom for her husband, Dr. Mark ben Hurry, who um, wrote a book called Price for Freedom, um, and then did the movie, and it's all about the Iranian hostage crisis back in 1979-1980, uh, when the Shah of Iran was kicked out and the Ayatollah Khomeini took over, and this is when all of the Islamic um, jihad or terrorism all started uh -huh. with, uh, you know, we have it ISIS today. Then it was, you know, Hamas. But um, it's, an, it's a fabulous story about how he got his family out of Iran. People, that, you know, and it, it really is a riveting story. And Paul Savino played an amazing part as the, um, the Shah of Iran. Um, Navid uh, Negaban played Dr. Mark ben Hurry. Mm -hmm. He was also in Homeland, and I believe he was in American Snipers, too. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. I, I just saw Paul Savino in La Mata Bronx Bull, and he was terrific. Yes, and I saw that as well, and, <laughs> and he was terrific. Yeah. Uh, he had me a little bit there with the father-son <laughs> scene yeah. that I saw. Yeah. Um, so, you know, hopefully uh, we just keep plodding away, um, take it back. Uh, hopefully we'll take off as well, the, uh, this comedy here. So, you know, we got the irons in the fire. But I have to say, you know, I've been in the music business all my life. And I've had the opportunity to get into the movie business, and I love it because it's a lot of creative people, yeah. and um, it's just down to earth, and th everybody's struggling to, you know, do their thing and and uh, pursue their dreams, and it's just it's really nice. And, yeah, and you meet some really great people along the way. Now, do you have a website where somebody can find out more about you, or maybe well, so a site on iTunes or something? I'm on Facebook, actually. Um, uh, Michael D'Amico. I have my own Facebook page and my own personal page. I do own MikeD'Amico.com, okay. which took me eight years to get it, wow. but I finally got it, and we are in, in the process of uh, getting the, uh, w the website up. So, oh. eventually, but you can see me on Facebook, and, uh, you know, take it from there. If you want to friend it, that's good, too. Oh, are you performing anywhere coming up? 
Um, well, actually, uh, performances will happen hopefully soon. I'm meeting tomorrow with uh, the people from Fries for Freedom. And I'm hoping, you know, that we're going to promote this movie big time. And I'm hoping Paul will, and I will go on. You know, Good Morning America, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, you know, Jimmy Fallon. And then he promotes the movie. And then I go up with my band, yeah. and we perform the song, and hopefully we hit radio, and yeah. uh, hopefully, you know, I'm like praying a little bit for the Academy to like I listen know. to the song and go, hey! Well, listen, you're putting it out there, and That's now the exactly universe it. knows, and now you just got to keep going in that about direction. I wrote a song about the secret. You got to put it out there. That's it. You know, if you speak it, it could happen. That's it. That's why you always have to say positive things and think positive thoughts, because they do have power. They do. They absolutely do. And, um... You know, so that's where we're at right now. But I'm I'm optimistic about the future, and every day is a miracle. So we we'll just uh, keep. It, uh, it is a miracle. It definitely is. So we're gonna go outside, and you're gonna take a picture with me in front of the step and repeat. How does I that sound? Do that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Okay, it's nice to be here. What a treat it was to be able to see and hear Deborah Toscano perform tonight. You were sensational. Oh, thank you, Helen. You're so sweet. Thank you so much, That's really. You know, and you really, you connect to the audience, and you have so much energy, and you sang, um, Man, I Feel Like a Woman, which I know is a, a really wordy song, and you have to have really good breath control for that one, but you nailed it. Thank you. Thank you. It's one of my favorite songs. I sing it like a lot of, on a lot of gigs, and yeah. when I do like appearances or whatever, I just always, someone asks me to sing, I sing Man, I Feel Like a Woman. Yeah, and you also did what, Last Dance, was yeah, it? Yeah, it it's a dance disco medley actually was from selena the movie selena oh, and it's her disco medley and i was lucky enough years ago to find the the tracks for it and it was all together and i said oh this is a gold mine this little thing so it, yeah. it works really really well yeah so what did you think of the trailer for uh mob comedy i loved it, it was, I, I will say this um i got together with sal during the week because we did some writing together uh for another little uh sitcom thing that we're doing and he showed me a little bit of it and or a lot of it, I should say. And I, we were laughing like, it's like funny. it was really, it's so funny. And then he added uh, obviously some more things that I didn't see when I saw it. Okay. it hilarious, just so funny. The, I love his writing. I love his writing style. Um, I think everybody in, in it is just so awesome. And you know, we've all become, you know, friends and and colleagues. And we all we're all working together on each other's projects. Well, just, you know, Sal a really long time, very long time. We went to college together, and uh, and then we got reconnected. Uh, through Facebook and some friends yeah. and uh, it, it's just it's wild like where you know everything kind of comes full circle you know it's funny because I just finally put together this little um, promo that we had done uh, during the summer by my pool and he was talking about how he was influenced to write this in the first place and he was saying how his parents you know had were Italian and they had the broken English and that some of the phrases he was going to use in the show because they were comical and I didn't know they were going to be that funny yes. because he misinterprets you know he 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 mispronounces things and they have a completely different interpretation and it is very funny very funny he's very comical he's very quick yeah. uh and even just you know from writing with him the other day uh he thinks on his feet he's quick 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 and he's funny uh and he's lovable and likable and you can't help but like anything that he does or and when you're watching him you just you smile because he's just hilarious yes, and he's so yeah. funny and he's so easy going too you know he's like a lovable teddy bear that yeah. guy yeah. you know and then he has big names and he had Federico Castelluccio in there and he has you know Matt Jade mm -hmm. and he has you know good people in yeah, there yeah. did you see yourself in there were you in there um I there was a little I called myself a little piece in there so yeah, uh, I, think I saw the side of my head <laughs> <laughs> probably me too me too I'm like oh there's my hair so it's all good you know so. it is it is is all good but you know uh, they they did get a nice mix in there he had like a, a sort of the shot of corona park something with the parade mm -hmm. and then you know it, it it was it was it was well put together i thought very, very much so and uh well thought out and uh funny script you know what he had when he uh, when we did the 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 parade day uh very well thought out and it's just it's, it's hilarious and it's so funny and off the wall and it's so sal and it's <laughs> it is it's so sal i mean he's because he's awesome and he's just he's a, a great friend and he's a, a great talent yeah. really really tremendous he is. and speaking of talent you just did snitches which you were very very f you had a funny little scene in there it was like a you know kind of a a, a scary movie you know in in a way a little tough movie but you had some comic relief in there which was 
nice to see yes. and you're very good at that Thank and uh, you have some other things coming up I know I, the one with the big house what was that one uh, that's my screenplay actually Bohemia and uh, we are slated to hopefully uh, start uh, shooting in January did you write that I did yes yeah, my first uh, shot out of the gate for uh, writing a screenplay and uh, yeah, it's a really it's yeah. a feature right yeah it's going to be a, an independent feature and uh, a lot of a lot of writing and a lot of craziness and a lot of characters but now, how many times did you have to revamp that? Uh, I'm I revamped it probably about five or six times. Yeah, yeah five or six times, and then you're not done yet. Well, I'm I'm done, but I I, I just keep getting more ideas okay. to add in, and and like for improv uh, scenes and cameos and different things. But do you have a website where somebody can find out more about you? Yes, uh, it's www.debratoscano.com. I'm um, on Twitter, um, Debbie Lala. I have Instagram, Debbie Lala 105, oh and uh, Facebook, all my Facebook pages, it's just my name, so uh, all good. Deborah Toscano, is that D-E-B-R-A or B-O-R-A-H? Uh, D-E-B-R-A, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, they, they the, the, the short version. Short version, my mother took the short route for my name, absolutely, <laughs> oh, absolutely. Okay, short and simple, but there's nothing simple about this girl, she's very complicated in all the right places. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Helen. Mwah. I have as my guest now Giorgio, and he has a very interesting thing that he does. Because he not o only sings and dances, but there's uh, an added secret weapon that he uses. You want to explain that, Giorgio? Oh, yeah. My secret weapon is, people think when I say my secret weapon is what? A knife, a gun. But no, it's my goggles. And this is why. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. It's this unique. Yes, it is. Um, you always have to add some type of character as being a musician, an artist. Um, I'm not the type of performer just to come out with jeans and a t-shirt, no. Right. I like to add uh, creativity. I like people to talk about. This is something to talk about because this yeah. actually put me on the map. I'll say. Yeah. Now, what was the name of the song that you just uh, sang? And did you write that? Is no, that original? No, no. The, um, the first song is called Pop the Bubbly, which is an original. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, thank you. Pop, Pop the Bubbly, which I uh, co-produced with uh, Giuseppe D. He worked on many, many records uh, from Gloria Estefan to uh, remixes from Michael Jackson, uh, Whitney Houston, the late, great Whitney Houston. Wow. Yes, in sync. Um, and, that, and then the record that basically I uh, redid uh, was Vino Speak Americano, which uh, is subtitled Papa Americano. It was a worldwide hit, which I covered. And uh, I are you from Italy? Well, I'm Italian American, but I'm okay. very Italian. Parli italiano, mangi italiano. I'm getting hot now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, my second residence is in uh, Sicily, Italy, where I am most of the times in the summer. Oh, yeah, okay. and I have my family there, which you know I adore and love. Okay, now you do a lot of dancing too, so uh, how did you come up with that routine? I don't know, I, I, I'm i Fred Astaire. <laughs> <laughs> I love to dance, I, it's in my blood. Yeah. And you do quite a bit of traveling, you want to say something about the upcoming uh, events that you have going on? Yeah, yeah, um, well I'm doing the uh, Columbus Day Parade my second time on. Oh, now what are you going to be doing for that, are you on a float, are you dancing through the float? streets? I'm going to dance, I'm going to jump, I'm going to make pizza pie. <laughs> I'm just going to sing my heart out, hey, and have Italian pride. Cool. Yeah, which I have a lot of Italian pride. I'm happy to be Italian. Now, what other shows have you done? Oh, I performed uh, all over the United States, Canada, Europe. Um, soon we're going to hopefully go to South America now. Wow. Oh, you know, Argentina, Chile, which I haven't covered yet. Brazil, 
you know oh. i love brazil from what i heard yeah other than singing and dancing what do you like to do in your spare time do you have any other hobbies um yeah i do have hobbies actually i love to uh work out i love to cook i love to spend time with my child oh. you know i have so what do you have a boy or a girl i have a girl oh. yeah. how old is she 13 Oy. yeah I, 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 oh. <laughs> And she's super beautiful. Oh, that's nice. It's a yeah. it's a difficult transition time. Some some yeah, it sometimes is. it is because you know when she was young, she's like, oh, daddy, 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 and I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> and, now, and now they they start seeing boys and daddy might be second for a while, but then yeah, they always no, become daddy's girl. I'm a first still. I'm a first. I'm a first. Okay, let's not uh, jump the gun here. <laughs> okay, so now do you have any website where somebody can see what you do or find yes, out where I'm, you're gonna be? Hey, I'm on Facebook. Giorgio Trovato. I'm on Instagram. Giorgio Vola. I'm on Twitter. Giorgio Vola. I'm not on LinkedIn yet. How do you spell G uh, Vola? V O L A? No, no. V O L A. Actually, it's G I O R G I O V O L A on Instagram. Yes, oh. follow me. And then on Facebook, I'm my own name, Giorgio Trovato. G I O R G I O T like Tom R O V like Victor A Apple T Tom O Oscar. Well, thank you so oh, much, Giorgio, so much. and I really appreciate your thank energy you. and your tunes. Uh, you gave a great performance. Uh, it was really the highlight of the evening. Uh, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you, Miss Helen. Thank you yeah. so much. Uh, and look who I have now, Sal, Sal Ranella. You were wonderful. The whole movie is going to be terrific. I just love the trailer. Thank you, Helen. We put a lot of work into it. Yeah. Not only was the planning, but the execution was fun. Yeah. And then now, the, now we get to show the fruits of our labor. Yeah. You know, and this was such a grand way to show it. This was like a wedding tonight, you know? It was like a wedding just to show a teaser. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and... Yeah. Uh, connected to some charities in the in Patterson. Mm -hmm. that, w that was very nice. And uh, have other people come out and perform and do a lot of different things. And I think it was it went off well. How many minutes was the trailer? Three minutes and like 15 seconds. And it was jam-packed with a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. You had the parade scene in there. You had the Corona Park in there. You had the pizza scene in there. You had uh, in the restaurant like... A the mobby people in there yeah you got it you got it good there it was good it was a good teaser a great voiceover some great songs we got the rights to a song from a band in england that uh, that's got i noticed a familiar song in there is that um i noticed i i noticed a familiar song in there do you have the rights for that oh, one no no it's just for the <laughs> teaser it's just for the teaser this is really for financial people uh, the other song in the front called La Dolce Vita, they allowed us to use it. It's an original, but it sounds like Louis Prima. This is just really for, it's not really going anywhere. It's not for com commerce. Yeah. So, so now, actually, when you started filming this, it was just going to be uh, for, for the teaser, but you ended up doing a short film, yeah, which short ran, what, like 20 minutes almost? It's going to be almost 20 minutes. And, and, and so when do you think that'll be done? I'd say by the end of the month. Oh, that's quick. You know, you're moving oh, kind of quick with yeah, this. We've been working on a lot of the scenes. You play the reporter at the end. That t ties up the whole story. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty good. I wonder where he got that idea from. Um, it's actually in the script, but you were there that day, and so I said, hey, we need a reporter. That ties up the whole story. That was good, and I thank you for that. Now, what about the feature? You're going to do trying to get a in feature going, right? In the springtime. We're going to go into pre-production in the next few weeks on the feature. But, of course, the money is uh, the matter. Yeah. And without the money, though we do have um, some financial people that have spoken to us, and they, they require us to do X, Y, and Z. Actually, a couple of little steps. It's not too bad. But uh, we also are talking to people about matching funds, some people for um, pr co-producing it. But uh, we're looking at a few bucks, so this way we could do it right. And, uh, right. yeah, we want to do a real feature. And you don't need a crazy amount of money to do it right either. The, 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 the one thing about, if it was just me as a writer and I'm giving it to somebody, you might need a lot more. But since I wear different hats, I'm the yeah. producer, director, writer, actor, 
Uh, I do some of the music, I find some of the locations, I find some of the casting, I find some of the money, I found some of the co-producers with the money. Yeah. It, it makes it a lot easier uh, to invest in me than it would be with someone else. Yeah, and a lot of the people that you have in the cast who are very good actors also work on the crew, and they've been around, they know what to do, everybody's wearing a lot of hats, and everybody's pitching in to do a very good job. Okay. So, you know, you have that you know on your side and I really don't think you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting money for this one Sal I really think you, you're hitting the nail on the head thank you producers um, around the country and around the world in regards to this the good thing about it is it's gonna be a lot easier because I want to shoot it in my old neighborhood and my old neighborhood in Corona Queens have opened up to us and so we're actually saving a lot of money by doing it there which is pretty cool yeah, yeah, and they must love that you come in there with the movie, right? Oh, totally. They're is there a website where somebody can find out more or maybe help you out with this? I'd say go to Facebook, Good Friday Mob Comedy, or also find me, Sal Ranella, S-A-L-R-I-N-E-L-L-A, -L -L and just drop me a line and say, hey, you want to get involved. Terrific, Sal. Great event tonight. Congratulations to you. Thank you, Helen. I'm here with Bobby Chisuli from New Jersey Housewives, but pretty soon we're going to be saying I'm with Bobby from what? Good Friday Mob Bobby Comedy. Good Friday. And by the way, you pronounced the name very well. Did you practice that? That was good. Yes, I did practice it. You did a good job. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> so what did you think of the trailer? Uh, the trailer, thank God, uh, I was able to see it in advance. Oh, you did? So anything that wasn't right, I got to fix beforehand so i knew because you're one of the producers yes yeah, so i knew coming into it it was going to be dynamite and it was everybody just reacted so wonderful to it so yeah. we're happy with it and what a wonderful way he did this is it's like a wedding what a, for a trailer i i don't think i've been to anything as grand as this well we knew that there was going to be a good turnout but i'll tell you what there was a lot of people here tonight yeah. and i'm very happy with the turnout and i'm even more happy with the response that we got from seeing the trailer it really went over very well yeah. with everybody I think it did. I know I liked it. I was kind of blown away, actually. Sexy, right? It was. It was very sexy. I know that's your favorite word, sexy. It was sexy, Bobby. It was, very, it was sexy. Very much so. yeah. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Bobby, you got a website somewhere where we can find out more about you? Good Friday Mob Comedy. Good Friday Mob Comedy. Uh, Twitter at Bobby two four seven or Bobby Chisoli on Facebook and Instagram. C I A S U L L I. Terrific. And you know what? You pronounce it pretty well yourself. You know, I do. I've been practicing <laughs> for quite some time. Yeah. Thank you. You got it down. Thank you. Thanks, Bobby. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon.